Jump over this. One, two, three. Woo! Nice. just hiking up and over Scarf Gap Pass in Buttermere um, to get to YHA Black Sail where we're going to be spending the next couple of nights. We first went to the Black Sail hut in summer and we just cycled out there from Ennerdale so ever since then we've been really wanting to go stay so I'm really excited to be going to stay there. Harvey's behind me and he's got Aoife on his back <laughs> I think he's struggling a bit with the backpack today, finding it quite heavy. Oslo's ahead of me, always leading the way with his backpack on. It's not that far a hike. I think it's about, I think it's about 4k from the car park. And yeah, we basically just go over this pass and drop down into Ennerdale. And there will be the hut. on their way up. Hmm? The choir is on their way up. Yeah. <laughs> Echoes, whispers under stones. So we are currently here where this pink arrow is. <laughs> and you can see Haystacks is over here. And we're going to be dropping down now to where it says Black Sail Hut. So not very far at all to go. Oslo's up there somewhere. Oslo! So the clocks went forward last night, which means that we get lighter evening. So it gets dark at half past seven. It's six o'clock now and it's so nice to be out like at six and not have to worry about getting, um, getting back for dark. Uh, as I mentioned, it's just over the hill, so we should be there. We're going to get let Eve for walk a little bit. She's been saying that she wants to walk pretty much since we put her in the backpack. Um, so we're finally going to grant her request. <laughs> Probably just when we get over over this bit and start heading down the other side. This ground is just it's too tricky for her to walk on. She's still very <laughs> got very little legs and uh, very new to walking. But hopefully one day she'll be wanting to walk up here with us. That'd be amazing. There's the hut. Not far to go now. Home for the next two days, eh? Yep. You excited? Yeah. Dinner soon? Oh, such a great spot. Amazing. <laughs> We're just on the final track to the YHA Black Sail now. Aoife is out the backpack and having a little walk. <laughs> um, it's still quite rocky ground, but she's doing a really good job. And it's turning out to be quite a nice evening and tomorrow's supposed to be glorious. Actually can't wait for some sun on my face. <laughs>
make dinner we're all a bit hungry now um, and I've actually got a HelloFresh meal for our dinner we hiked it in HelloFresh is a meal delivery service so you can select how many meals you want per week for how many people in your household and it just takes a little bit of the stress out of cooking I find it really handy especially with a toddler at home who I love to cook with we often cook together but her attention span is quite small so I really like the quick and easy 20 minute meals and you can choose those directly on the website so I always choose at least one of those in our HelloFresh box. So today we're actually making a 20 minute meal which is really handy because we're all starving and we are having the soy lemongrass chicken and veg stir fry. So I managed to hike um, our food in, it all comes in a little bag so it's really easy to bring in and all the ingredients are portioned out so we won't have any waste with us which is really handy for coming and staying somewhere like this. I'm really excited to have a quick, easy and nutritious meal for dinner. If you are cooking for a family as well, for April only, HelloFresh have a new childhood classics menu so you can choose your nostalgic childhood favourites and cook for all the family. If you want to try HelloFresh for yourself then you can use my my code which is hello Athena to get 60% off your first box along with 25% off the next two months so it's a really great discount I'll put it on screen here or you can click the link down in the description right I'm gonna go get cooking now I'm really hungry looking forward to this meal <laughs> Black sail this morning. 
and wow, it is an incredible day here. We've just got blue, blue skies, sun on our faces, feels so good. Feels like spring, it's actually quite warm as well. And we decided to walk up Pillar today. So heading out on a little hike. Um, it's a peak that Harvey's been wanting to go up for ages. Been banging on about <laughs> constantly. Yeah. <laughs> um, because of, because of the climbing, that's kind of why you're interested, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Just it's just this kind of very atmospheric, remote peak. In yeah. The lakes that just every time we come up Ennerdale, you look over, it's always sort of shrouded in mist and just looks super atmospheric. Mm -hmm. uh, so a beautiful blue sky today. So. Yeah, apparently, um, yeah, I was going to say, apparently you can see over to Isle of Man, so we might be able to stay because it's just really clear. That's awesome. I was just saying to Harvey this morning that it feels like we're doing something really adventurous and exciting and something, it doesn't feel like we're in England, like in the summer we hiked out to a mountain refuge in Italy. Uh, some of you have probably seen that video and it was just such a cool experience and this feels like that it has that same feeling feeling of doing something really adventurous with Aoife and yeah but it's actually really accessible um how far was it hiking maybe like 4k we're only an hour and a half from home it's just really cool that we can do this and get that get that same feeling as when we're in a different country but in our own country so and everyone at the hut is so friendly um we had bob looking after us really nice guy um yeah really really impressed so far it's been great hasn't it yeah it's been fantastic i had like a really nice conversation with bob actually mm -hmm. just about um just kind of like keeping life simple and able to sort of be able to do these kind of adventures and he was he's worked in numerous YHAs and works on the footpaths and it's it's a lifestyle choice rather than a get rich choice yeah is very much driven by <laughs> is your arm starting to hurt yeah <laughs> uh yeah just driven by uh being rich in life uh -huh. and experience rather than money and I think that's something we live by as well we'll never be rich but just being able to bring Aoife on these kind of adventures and s set this as the tone for her life maybe um, or definitely her sort of experiences growing up can't think of anything better Should we give some to Shasha? We just stopped for a quick croissant break in the sun and now it's about two kilometers up to Pillar. All of my ghosts are taunting like they're baiting for a fight and I'm drifting round in a dream in the thickest fog that you've ever seen And I've waited here for a while And it's alright In time clarity comes like a thing We are just at the summit of Pillar now There is not a breath of wind And I have to say this has to be one of the best views from a Lakeland peak I have come across You can see the whole of the coastline, the west coast line, and then basically all of the lakes, like 360 degree incredible views. Um, you can see Blencathra, Skidore, we're just like picking out all of the peaks, Haystacks, uh, Fleetwith, Pike, yeah, it's just, just amazing. And the coast and the sea, Ennerdale down there, incredible.
So we're just traversing across the face of pillar um, and we just <laughs> keep on finding ourselves just being like wow this is probably like the most alpine-esque path we've taken in the in the lakes it's it's quite exposed and quite steep ground and quite rough uh, the path is actually pretty good um, and we're just heading for Robinson's Ken you can just sort of see in the oh you want some raisins <laughs> Uh, in the distance there and then I think it opens up into a bit of a uh, plateau and a flat area so we're going to stop there for some food but it's just it's it feels really good uh Athena's slightly scared it's <laughs> kind of Aoife's pretty chilled about it all uh and yeah <laughs> yeah just very beautiful Mountain. Bye, mountain. Bye. So we just got back to the bottom of the valley, just sat here by the river, so I've thrown stones and just generally having a nice time. Uh, I think my concluding thought of the day is that Ennerdale is probably my favourite place in the lakes. There's just an incredible feel about these areas out to the west. 
and, uh, and it's wild and rugged and just up around pillars, just incredible and atmospheric and it's fantastic over here. Definitely, definitely my favourite place. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Well, we got completely drenched on the walk back over from Black Sail to Buttermere. Yeah, like, it was like sideways, torrential, windy rain, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that was pretty full cool on. <laughs> yeah, it was, was pretty full cool on. And we got we got back to the car and just like stripped all our gear off, got Oslo yeah. in the car, got Aoife in the car. Um, <laughs> and we've driven over to the Linghom estate to have some lunch, um, which is always the best way that a little adventure ends is with a good, a good feed. Good hearty <laughs> lunch, yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, but um, um, it was it was a good couple of days. It was amazing. I loved it. It was yeah, so yesterday, fun. Yesterday was awesome. Yesterday and, like, was just yeah, incredible. Like the weather was amazing. <clears throat> um, going up to Pillar was really cool. Yeah. Loved staying at the hut. It was just it was a really great experience. And I think we were saying quite a lot. It, it felt very alpine. Yeah, you liked the hut, didn't you, little flower? What did you <laughs> think, Oslo? He's like. I'm wet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's, mummy, got a bit of a 90, it's got a bit of a 90s spiky hairdo going on. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Oslo. <laughs> Aww. Um, but yeah, it was just like a really cool, really cool thing to do. Actually really accessible with kids. Hello. Hello. <laughs> really accessible kids. You, I mean, we walked over uh, Scarf Gap Pass, which was 4K-ish, wasn't it? Yeah, about that. Yeah, about or, an hour. Yeah, about an hour. Yeah. Or you could cycle in from Ennerdale, and that's like a 9K cycle, which again is pretty doable. Um, just I'm like totally really easy forest tracks. As well. With what? With a trailer. With a bike trailer, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, which we've done before. So, yeah, yeah highly recommend heading out to Black Sail. Um, yeah, just a really cool trip. And now we are actually heading over to Northumberland, aren't we? Yep, for a boat trip. So that could be interesting. Yeah, <laughs> hoping that the weather is not that bad over there. Um, otherwise, I'm going to be very seasick. Yeah, I think, I think the next few days are pretty brutal. Thanks so much for watching this video. And uh, we'll see you guys in another one soon. Yep. And yeah, see you later. See ya.